how are you welcome uh to a new vlog today is friday it is the evening and this is gonna be a vlog for the weekend we're just hanging out um i have a couple of reading things planned but i kind of just wanted to track some general progress um so let's get started with what i'm reading so I am reading a handful of things. Most of the time I am reading more than one book. Oftentimes I'm reading three or four. Um, and that's just because personal preference, I get through books faster that way. So the first book that I'm gonna talk about is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forner. And this is a YA fantasy. It's about um, bloodlines and warriors. And it's definitely, it's got some monsters and magic. And I only have 40 pages left of this. I have enjoyed it so much so far. The beginning of it was kind of like, oh, this is familiar, but it did take a turn that I was not expecting and now I'm like really loving it and really into it. Like I said, uh, I only have 40 pages left out of like 420. So I've definitely already put some work in to get this book read um, and I'll be finishing that this weekend. The next book I would like to make progress on this weekend is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Farseer trilogy and it's following our main character Fitz. He's a bastard and there's a lot of political intrigue. There's a little bit of kind of hints at fantasy at the moment but nothing too crazy. I'm tentative about this one. I was really excited for this and I'm a hundred pages in and I'm not captured so while i said i'd like to make some progress on this book realistically in a regular weekend for me finishing the rest of this book which like i said i'm 100 pages in so that would be around 290 more pages is not completely unrealistic but because i'm not really like loving it so far which pains me to say because this book is actually one of the books that i want to read for my 2021 like reading challenges and reading goals was to read a Robin Hobb trilogy. So we'll see how this goes. So the other book that I might pick up because I'm not really loving The Assassin's Apprentice right now is The Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rice. This book is kind of a after companion. Obviously it's not by Charlotte Bronte, but it is related to the novel Jane Eyre, which is a gothic literature classic, which I love and reread just last month. And so because I just reread that, kind of want to go ahead and while it's still genuine, kind of a little bit fresh in my mind, I would like to read this book. I can't really talk a lot about this book because this book is centered around one of the main plot points that is the twist at the end of Jane Eyre. So, so yeah, these are my reading plans for this weekend. Um, we'll see where we get to and what we get up to, but I'm excited to bring you all along. Saturday. I have coffee. Um, I've been awake for about an hour and I wanted to give you a reading update because I finished The Gilded Ones by Namita Forner. I want to put the dust jacket on because it's so pretty. Yeah, so I finished The Gilded Ones and this book is, like I said last night, it's a YA fantasy story. Um, it's about survival and it's about these women who are of a certain bloodline that is not accepted in their modern day society. There is what is called a death mandate in place, and if you bleed a certain color, gold, you're killed. It basically sets you apart as like a different breed of human. But instead of suffering the death mandate, our main character, Decca, is swept away by an emissary who comes to grab her and takes her to the capital where she is trained with other women like her to become brutal warriors like they're really insane and super good because they are another breed of human they can regenerate they're 
have a really high pain tolerance. They're faster, they're stronger. There was some political movements, plot points that took place and journeys that happened that I was not expecting. And it was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this. Elements of found family in this, which I was not expecting. The band tribe of individuals coming together to beat the bad guy, all about it. So I really enjoyed this one. So I have a couple of chores to do around the house this morning and just kind of like tidying up, cleaning up, wanting to get a little bit organized. I've got some laundry going right now. So what I think I would like to do is continue listening to my audiobook of The Assassin's Apprentice while I kind of do some around the house stuff. So that's gonna be my plan. Other than that, today I have to go grocery shopping and do some minor chores, but I don't have any solid plans other than that. I would like to go on a walk, maybe? We'll see. Just wanted to give a check-in. Happy Saturday. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so just a quick update. I just listened to around 90 pages of The Assassin's Apprentice. I will say that there have been a lot of developments as far as the plot, and I'm definitely getting more into it. So this guy, main character Fitz, is being trained to be an assassin, but they're trying to train him in secret because he is a bastard son of the king who was going to be in line to be the next king. So he was a prince who was gonna be in line to be the next king. Um, and that prince has just passed away. So Fitz is kind of in a situation where people who are now in line for the throne could potentially see him as a threat and he's trying to stay on the down low. I'm definitely into it. I'm more invested than I was 100 pages ago. So I would call that a success. I'm going to check back in with you later and yeah, bye. Hello. So, little update. I um, needed to go outside, so I drove to a park, and this park is a little stream, so I'm just hanging out, getting some fresh air, trying to get some vitamin D, hanging out, so I'll keep you posted. Hi friends! So, it is a little bit later on a Saturday evening. It's around 7 o'clock, and uh, just to catch you up, Jared and I went and we got some smoothies and went on a walk. Then we went driving, picked up some groceries, and ran some other errands, and now we are back. I'm still full from the smoothie, so I'm not going to be cooking any dinner or anything tonight because Jared feels the same. I have some water, and I think I'm going to... <laughs> Jared! <laughs> So I'm going to be picking up some more of The Assassin's Apprentice tonight. Um, definitely be hanging out with Jared. We might watch a movie or something later, but it's a quiet night in for us, and I will keep you posted on any reading progress. Hello. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's late. I just got out of bed. I've been awake for about two hours, but um, on Sundays and Saturdays, I'm definitely the type of person to get a cup of coffee and get back in bed. I've just got up, so I'm really just ready to greet the day now. It's like 1030. As far as reading updates, I have none. <laughs> I did not read last night at all. Um, I just like watched a movie and hung out with Jared and it was chill. It was all right But I do want to get a good chunk of the Assassin's Apprentice read today and hopefully we'll have a few final thoughts for you um, At the end kind of like a wrap-up of what I read this weekend and yeah It is a gorgeous day outside today. It is like sunny, 75 degrees, cool breeze. And so I have a desk job. Um, so today we spent a lot of our afternoon outside. Um, we ended up playing tennis with one of our friends, a nice outdoor activity. And then afterwards, after playing tennis, I was kind of like, I didn't really like exercise that much. I did a lot of standing there because the boys are way better at it than I was. Um, so I just went on a quick run. I just showered and I'm ready to kind of like settle in a little bit for the afternoon. Um, it is around four o'clock. So I'd like to go ahead and give you some updates on what I've been reading. So this morning I was able to read around 80 pages of The Assassin's Apprentice, listening to it on audiobook while cleaning the house, bathroom, kitchen, Sunday chores sort of thing. 
now Fitz, our main character, is being schooled in the art of this traditional magic that his family is able to perform. It's in his blood and he trains alongside distant cousins, random uncles, second cousins twice removed type of deal. So it's definitely picking up. There are some higher political stakes now than there was earlier in the book and I definitely care very much about Fitz. It's pretty good. As you can see, I'm about three quarters of the way through and I have maybe 100 pages left. I have 115 pages left, so we'll see how much I can get read this afternoon. So it's like 10 o'clock at night and I have just finished The Assassin's Apprentice. Ultimately, really ended up enjoying it. Um, there are elements of magic in this that have to do with communicating with somebody through like telepathy and like you can reach across like a certain amount of miles even if they're not like in your vicinity talk to them, give them feelings. That element of the book became more and more prevalent by the end. And that's the type of stuff that I was like here for in this book. So ultimately like it was getting better and better as we were going on and people were learning the skill and it was revealed that some people had the skill that you didn't think they had the skill. So it was ultimately really, really good. I enjoyed it and am happy that I finished it. I will be continuing in this series because I kind of am predicting where I think the series is going. There are civil war conflicts, as in actually within the nation of the six duchies, people are going to start fighting over something, but there's also a outsider threat that's kind of coming in, and I think that's where the second book is kind of going to go. So to conclude, my two favorite things about this book were definitely the political intrigue and that politics was the main driving force behind this assassin, behind Fitz, behind everybody who was telling him what to do. Um, you didn't know who was good or bad. There was a lot of really morally gray characters in this and I really loved that. So the political intrigue and then second being that skill. So the kind of magic fantasy element where you can kind of like reach across and talk to people, convey feelings, definitely became an interesting concept to have both the political intrigue with this ability being married together in a plot very very good highly recommend so i'm excited to continue in the farseer trilogy and it's definitely a world i'm interested and invested in so that concludes my weekend reading vlog so i finished this weekend the gilded ones by namina forner and again the assassin's apprentice by robin hobb which is a pretty successful weekend for me i believe in total i read around 350 pages this weekend which i am not mad at definitely kind of pleased with that. So I would say all in all, it was a successful weekend. So thank you for joining me. Hope you had a great time following along and hanging out. I had a great time, had a great weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!